Hey, all right. Welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Coming to you from freezing Boise, Idaho. Snow, zero degrees last night. I think now it's about 20. It is cold. Anyway, let's get into it. As you know, I manually mine everything. I use Windows 10. Yes, I use Windows 10. I'm sorry. I use Windows 10 and I man manually uh, manage all my miners. I use a Chrome Remote Desktop to get into all my 10 plus rigs. And that is fine. I can do that. I can handle it. I got email set up to notify me from Ethermine to two miners whether stuff goes up or down. I have experimented a little bit in NiceHash by mining to their pools to get paid out in Bitcoin. I am now mining uh, two laptops to two miners, mining ETHash to get paid out in Bitcoin. I have experimented a little bit in Hive OS, and when I see fees, I always balk. I have been uh, PTSD by fees over many different things through my life. I am I don't like fees. <laughs> I don't like subscriptions, member service fees. I don't like any of that stuff because you forget about it and you end up paying lots of money. Uh, anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But I saw this article about Hive OS. Uh, again, I've only used it and uh, just to manage one rig, and now I stop because I can just do it myself. So I see this article. It comes out, uh, let's see, December 31st, 2021, from good old England. Uh, let's see, Trust in Hive OS Tarnish as open source minor developers come forward with accusations of skimming developer fee. As, uh, as you may notice, when you run these miners, uh, CP Miner, XM Rig, uh, let's see, T-Rex, whatever, all these minor apps, and you'll see the, the, the command standard output, you'll see developer fee 1%, and then sometimes we'll say CPU Miner GR uh, for Ghost Rider, you'll see them take out their developer fee, and they put an address up there to the mining pool. So that's the developer fee, and in, built into the miners, that will um, charge the fee and go to that wallet address. It's kind of funny when you see it in CPU Modern GR. Oh my gosh, it's swipping, it's swipping. It's switching to a European pool to pay the minor fee. And that's where I've noticed it. So I always wonder how these guys get paid. And it's the donation, it's the 1% fee built into the miners. So let's go through this uh, and see what is going on, man. I don't know if it's drama or it's actually accusations based on evidence. So this isn't just a drama piece. Uh, he said, she said, this, these guys have some evidence about some shenanigans by Hive OS. So let's see, uh, let's just start at the beginning. Open source developers of cryptocurrency miners state proof of Hive OS modifications to the code preventing compensation for development work. Pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, open source developers of various open source cryptocurrency miners, the software, the stuff you download, the stuff you set up in high voice to say, I want to run LOL miner, T-Rex miner, NB miner, CPU miner, XM rig, keep going, there's a billion, right? Uh, when you set those up, they're saying Hive OS is going out modifying that stuff. Uh, let's see, developers of various open source cryptocurrency miners show what they say as proof that Hive OS modified code preventing compensation for vital development work. Let's see, it was described that developers had previously implemented checks into a cryptocurrency miner to signal any modifications to the development address and, and to raise alarm. A private investigation was then performed, which apparently shows proof that Hive OS is behind all of it. So these guys, with evidence are going in to the code and tweaking the uh, address which pays out the developer fee. Interesting, and they got proof. So it's almost like they have tamper software in there to show that people are going in and tampering with the wallet address. It's almost like they baited them and they trapped them. So anyway, let's go through it. It's interesting read, it's not too long. This is on tech.einnews.com. Let's keep going. Several obfuscated checks. I gotta look that word up because I went to public school. Uh, let's see, several obfuscated checks were added to the Raptorium CPU miner. Raptorium man is a target. Again, Raptorium is number two mined coin on Hive OS, number one of these ETHash. 
So Raptorium is still popular in mind. Raptorium is a target for everything, man, from those hackers who used, not hackers, the guys that commandeered the HP servers to mine Raptorium, doubling the hash rate. But uh, Raptorium now is kind of down in the hole, right? Anyway, let's keep going. All right, they had several obfuscated, obfuscated checks that were added uh, to the Raptorium CPU miner code to signal if someone attempted to modify the donation address. And that's what I was talking about. When you run the miner, say CPU miner GR or whatever, you'll see the donation address come up. You say, wait, that's not my address. Then you read it's like, oh, it's the 1%, 1.5, whatever. They had a high percentage fee uh, in the miner to donate to the developers. All right. So they put the they put a check in the code, the CPU miner code, to signal someone if someone attempted to modify the donation address and to steal from the developers. At this line, it checks if the donation user RTM was modified. Oh, they even show the code. Look at that. I'm not going to go to it. But anyway, let's see. All right. So there's the code GitHub. Mm, let's see. Uh, I'm going to click on it once. I'm curious. It's going to the CPU miner GR. And there's the algorithm. Look at that. Oh, my God. Let's go back. What's, what are they saying? So several obfuscated checks. At this line, it checks if the donation user uh, for Raptorium was modified. All right. And it adds a, if it was, it, fi uh, it fixes donation address but also as a dot one to the address. So it, it fixes it, they put it back to normal, but they add a dot one to the address signaling that it was modified. You can see the addresses with the dot one appended here. Let's go back to the code. I'm a code weenie, so let's see what's happening. If the uh, unsigned int donation user are uh, not equal to the dump, okay, I need to go step through with the debugger. You Donation user RTM, not equal to that donation percentage. How did they get in there? So this must be a hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the top. Look at all this code, man. So the code's all open source. You can go out and check her out. Look at that. Include structs. All right, I don't waste time on the code. Sorry. You can go through that if you want to see what they're doing there. So they put the check in there and it fixes their donation address, but also adds a dot one. And you can see all the things here. Let's, I'm just curious now. Might as well look. Look at the evidence. Just don't read stuff without looking at the evidence. That's how mainstream media gets away with all their lies. People just fall for it. Uh, let's see. Well, that's just the hash table. Hex table. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's go back. What are they saying about that? You can see it all there. And if we check the dev addresses on Flockpole, you can see quite a bit of hash going to that worker. Okay. Okay, it's going to that worker. Ooh. I'm just going to keep clicking, guys. I want to make sure this stuff actually works on these articles that I'm reading. All right, this is the address in question. Oh, my God. Look at all that. Wow. That's a lot of uh, hash, baby. That's a lot of rep Raptorium. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Balance already paid to the wallet. Look at that. Wow. Pretty cool. This is pretty interesting. You learn a lot. All right, let's keep going. You can see uh, quite a bit of hash going to that worker. And that was Raptorium. So where did it come from? Well, we don't have to look too far. Here's a normal protocol dump. Oh, let's look at this now. This is kind of cool, man. This is like a this is like a teach yourself from this article how how stuff is done. Uh, I can't hardly read that. Uh, let's see. This is a PNG. Okay, I'm gonna skip over that. Uh, let's see. You can see what's going on with that worker. Here's one from Hive. Stealing from a. Uh, let's see. Stealing from the few developers who do open source minor work is a good way to stop people from doing open source minor work. Furthermore, if they're doing this to us developers, God knows what they will do to their users if they can get away with it. And this is from Raptor Raptorium CPU minor developer. That's a very good point. If they're getting away with this, just kind of stealing from the developer by flipping their address, what are they doing to you as you work on them or on their polls and stuff like that? You never know, man. 
it just like it's like what's that office space where they were t- trying to take a a micro penny off each transaction but they screwed up the decimal point or something and they end up taking millions i don't know following this disclosure developer from xm rig and several gpu miners have come forward to state similar experiences with hive os modifications to their donation addresses and after further discussions it was said that the issue spans wider than anticipated with countless developers affected what also seems to be a big issue here is that hive os is failing to publish the altered source of which they are required to do under gpl licensing v2 and v3 which further masks these practices causing worrying amongst both dev and users of this altered code Hive OS, what is going on, guys? Oh my God! Yeah, they got to defend against this. They got to, you know, hope this gets uh, ironed out. But this sounds like there's some serious evidence here against Hive OS. All right, Hive OS rose to fame with its iteration of Linux due to its very low use of resources, allowing a higher efficiency in the mining process with its website describing the ultimate mining platform, which allows users to set up, mine, and control processes more effectively and hassle-free across thousands of rigs, all from a single place. They just act, you know, it's a, it's a manager. It's a rig manager and a configurator. Everything you and your team need to keep your farm at peak efficiency. Coins are added by the HiveOS team as mining options due to both the uh, profitability and popularity amongst users. And it is in Hive's interest to provide the highest profitability and hashing power for the farms on their platform to keep people coming back. With news starting to surface of other open source developers affected by the Hive OS team's practices, combined with the serious issues regarding its conflict with the GPL licensing legalities, has trust been tarnished on what is currently a very popular Linux-based operating system for mining cryptocurrency? Question mark. Yeah, this is interesting. As cryptocurrency gains popularity, so does the competition for mining it. And it seems that some key players on the field will do whatever they can to tip the odds into their, into their favor at the detriment of others. HiveOS has currently failed to comment on the allegations made and with the community interested in higher hashing uh, Threadripper 5000 base silicone in Q2 2022 and even B3 GPUs uh, from both camps, question marks will certainly be raised as to which mining operating system will be used moving forward. And article by Paul Mills, the core administration. Yeah, good article. I, this is new. This came out yesterday. What do you guys think? I get a little skeptical. Because with any software, you really don't know what's going on. And for me, I always wonder, why are all these fees? What is all this stuff when I see the fee flipping? And that's fine. These guys got to make money. They're doing it open source work. And that's how they get they get some kind of revenue out of this. But now when you go into these um, third-party type things like HiveOS, maybe NiceHash. I know NiceHash had something going on. I don't know what. Some drama last year. Or they were hacked. I can't remember exactly. You can Google to find out. But now you got HiveOS. Kind of doing, by accusation here, allegedly with these accusations, uh, pretty some serious tampering. And uh, it's not a good it's not a good look. It's not a good optic. They should be making enough money by just doing what they're doing, charging the fees based on the number of rigs you have in the um, in their uh, in their application in their Hive OS uh, rigged uh, setup, their farms. You set up a farm, you set up your workers, you set up your rigs, and they charge the users. But now they're uh, looks like by these accusations and based on these links, which are active, you can go through this and yeah, uh, you can see the link right here, tech.einnews.com slash PR news, PR underscore news. You can go check yourself, do your own research, do your own reading. I'm just bringing it to your attention. It was brought to my attention and I'm just passing it on. So again, I don't use Hive OS. I've used it for a week and I was... Uh, doing it for free and it was all right. But then I'd still, as an, as an engineer myself, a seasoned veteran in the software industry. No, I don't, I'm just a hack. Um, I'm just a blue collar engineer, jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, just your average software weenie engineer, IT guy. 
And I never wanted to have them control myself. I want to control it. I like knowing what's going on. It hasn't become unwieldy. I don't have 500 rigs, you know, but I can see maybe getting there. But at that point, I don't know. I don't, I never understood what's going on inside under the hood and some of these things. And you kind of blindly trust it. But then it's like, that's kind of foolish too. Cause then you, these things start popping up because we are still in the wild west of crypto mining, CPU mining, GPU mining. Uh, now they're going to have these mining um, uh, services like uh, you can go buy the equipment and they'll house it, maintain it and run it for you. You just basically own the equipment and you're going to get paid in Bitcoin on it. You, you got to just wonder what's going on under the hood. Are you getting all the stuff you should get? And with Hive OS now, it raises a big question. And this is a serious tarnish and they're going to have to come out and uh, defend against this accusation. But it looks like there's a lot of evidence here where if you're going and tampering with uh, people's Python code or whatever code, C code, Java code, whatever they're running with, C++ code, if they're going in there messing with that crap or node code, I don't know, whatever they're writing it in, that's kind of, that's not good. And then, like they said, there's the other point of the GPL licensing. You should adhere to that. And uh, it just does raise question you got to follow the rules. If you're taking people's money, if you're charging people a fee, if you're um, using other people's software, open source software, like the mining software, you got to follow the rules. You got to be a fair player. You got to be a good citizen in the community. Otherwise, it's going to be tarnished. And right now, like I said, I have not used Hive OS. I do kind of like what they they bring to the table the uh, the um, ease of maintenance and setting up your GPUs and setting up your miners and setting up your clocks, but you can get that from other ones as well. I think there's awesome miner out there. Uh, and of course, nice hashes out there and you've got to do your own research and this just is new stuff. So this may be another piece of evidence in your, uh, in your, uh, research, uh, what do you call it? Your due diligence, read through it and uh, make an alert on this in your, if you have Gmail, go make a Google alert on, um, Hive OS and uh dev fees and uh raptorium and skimming and stuff like that so set up your alert and just do yeah just do a hive os and you'll get alerts in your email inbox and say what's going on gives you the latest news a lot of the news is repetitive but uh like with the hp hack and stuff like that but you just weed through it and this came to my inbox i said this is pretty interesting i would not have found it otherwise so anyway there you go interesting news not a how-to on rigging and stuff. I'm running right now on vacation. I am running two miners right now. And I did a remote login to my other laptop back home across the country. And uh, I just have two laptops running against two miners on ETH hash going to a Bitcoin wallet. But I have my uh, payout real high. So that's... Other, other than the news with the Hive OS for um, pure mining stuff, right now, GPU mining, CPU mining, uh, doing this stuff. This is uh, GPU mining with uh, T-Rex going to two miners. And uh, that's where I'm at now. That's a little more how-to DIY stuff other than the new stuff. I like to balance out the channel with the new stuff. Because it's good to know the ecosystem, what is going on. Because when I got into this, I had no idea. There's just so much stuff to learn. And the old saying is true. You don't know what you don't know. So go into it like uh, open, open-minded, open open eyes. It's going to be a fire hose of knowledge. And you got to just consume as much as you can. Try stuff for yourself. If something doesn't seem right and you're bringing fresh eyes to it, ask questions. Go on people's Discord. Go on people's YouTube channels. Ask questions. Most people are just figuring out as they go. Some people are just further ahead. So I always learn that in life. Someone may seem to be a genius or better at it, but you know what? They only read the book a day before you read the book. You know what I mean? When you read the book, you're gonna be on the same part of them, or they just tried something a day before you got to try something. Uh, but what I learned too is just listen to all people, aggregate the information, try stuff on your own, and you'll learn. You can be just as smart on this stuff as anyone else you see in a Discord, on YouTube, on Twatter, or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's good just to digest as much as you can, 
and uh, focus on small things first. Like, you know, try try these Hive OS nice hash. If it doesn't feel right, you're paying a lot of fees, go, wait, why am I paying all these fees? Wait, I can do this myself on Windows and run the miners by hand. It's not that hard. Uh, you just got to try it and learn, find out what works, works best for you. All right, that's all. That's my goal, bring information to you guys, let you uh, do what you want with it. You can delete it, you can digest it, you can do some more research on it. And so, like I said, my advice is set up Google Alerts on this, on stuff that is of interest to you and start with a bride, wide brush and then refine it to what really matters to you, like Raptorium or ETHash or point, uh, proof of work or you know, investing in crypto, stuff like that, Voyager, BlockFi, what's the pros and cons, crypt, set all that up and then it gets fed to you and you can go through it yourself like in your weekly or your morning feed or you can set up the alerts and that's what I do and that's how I am kind of educating myself and I'll watch other people too and uh, I'll go, well, what are they doing? And then sometimes I find, I'll go then read up and follow up and say, oh, okay. And I, I add on to what they told me. And it's just the best way to learn for me. It may, work, it may work for you as well. Anyway, enough rambling. Go forth, do great things. Let me know if you've had any experience with this. Uh, again, Wild West of Crypto. So expect stuff like this as um, self-policing is going to have to happen and thank god for these developers going away something's not right here and good for them good for them for putting in that that check and bringing in proof and not just making drama without having evidence to back up and that's a great article right here go check it out and thanks for watching it's freezing out i'm going to stay inside i'm debating going outside but i don't want to freeze to death but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or you experience anything odd with some of these mining outlets, these mining aggregates, mining managers. Yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, take care. I am out of here.